36-year-old Suleiman Bilali was the Kenyan boxer who rose to fame in late 90s and early 2000s. His achievements in the boxing ring notwithstanding, but as his career blossomed, a spate of bad luck knocked on his door. He was involved in two road accidents that would turn out to end his career. On a jog, while jogging in Kapatele accident, Yagari, 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 Okay, Nikacheza katika ile African Championship kam Sydney Olympics qualifiers kule Cairo Egypt nikachua gold nika qualify kule kule kwenda kule Sydney Sydney Olympics kule Australia Owing to his predicaments, the people close to him took advantage of his situation and some allegedly sold off his property the injuries uh, ambulance sustained nilikuwa na ile ile nini ile memory labs ndio so watu katika advantage kwa jamaa wa advantage wakachukua mali yangu walikuwa wananimaliza kabisa lakini yote naachia Mungu he was grounded and resorted to squalid life despite winning the country in number of medals and does he have regrets mimi nakumbuka kuna wakati mimi nilikuwa nachukuliwa na Qatar 150 million lakini kwa sababu mimi nilijivunia kwa mkenya ndio maana sikutaka kwenda huko unaelewa kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa mzuri na hakuna ule bondia hata iko saizi hata ule kuna sifa saizi ule hakuna amechukua hiyo nini yangu mimi nimechukua nishani 12 ya dhabu meletea Kenya hapa ya fedha moja unaelewa na bronze ngapi mbili so na regret ya kuwa sisi wa Kenya wanatuachilia hivyo cuz mimi hata ule jamaa nasikia sasa hii ni sports means ule jamaa tupiga naye katika olympics ule jamaa alipewa jamaa Spain by then he al gold champion Lozano Munoz ule wa Spain 10 11 on points at Ivanda Olifield alikuja kaniaga anaambia wewe una ten boxing yako wapi he hasn't given up though and hopes the government will someday reward him for his sweat kiomba kama wanaweza simi peke yangu kuna wengi ambao wanasafa waweze kujitokeza waweze kutusaidia sisi unaelewa walio pepea sisi waliovuma unaelewa waweze jitokeza naweze kutusaidia kwa sababu sisi tunaenda kupigania bendera unaona mimi nikumbuka mimi nimepigana nikiwa na chuma katika hizo games zote olimpiki hiyo ya Sydney ya Beijing nimechukua nini mbili mimi ndio mwafrika katika weti yangu ambayo nimechukua mara mbili gold medal ya All African Games O3 nilichukua kule Abuja Nigeria O7 ka defend kule Alsace Algeria Unaelewa So wanafara kwa wakuje watutambue Si atu sasa wewe unasifika ndio tunatambuliwa sasa unaumia au tambuliwi Haifai He still cherishes the skill that made him a darling of boxing fans his orthodox and bobbing technique kwa mzuri katika ile footwork. Ngoza kama Muhammad Ali, ana ama zaidi ya Muhammad Ali. Unaelewa? Ile ducking waving ya boxing yangu. Afadhali unipige tumbo, unipige chest. Lakini sipige kichwa yangu. Unaelewa? Ile ducking waving na ile footwork yangu. Deli fresh wengi, paka wengi unipigia size zimu. Hata kutoka kule nje. Uko wapi? Tunakutaka. 
but that remains just to be memories for Bilali, who was a sergeant in the police force. He comes from a boxing family. His elder brother Yusuf Saf Bilali won Kenya a bronze medal in the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, USA. Suleiman appears lost amongst his international friends, some whom he fought and still look for him. <laughs> All is not lost though, as the Mudura born and trained former boxing star has nothing but the memories of his good old days in the ring. Sydney Olympic Games, the year 2000. He just not only born here, but then he was a world champion. Rosanna Munoz was paying in the quarterfinals. He was a big fan of South Africa, he was a big fan Daniel Alamoy Raisi akipiga simu akipigia minister of sports akimuuliza kijana wangu anaendeleaje unaelewa hiyo pigano nilipiga uwe jamaa nikanyang'anywa wale wazungu walikuwa wamenyamaza katika ile ring na wote walipigia makofi baada hiyo pigano for Channel One Sport, I'm Bernard Okumu.